yesterday. Let's do it. 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 Let's
And I think that's also true considering that Eddie Hearn, he clout chased Deontay Wilder on the week of AJ's fight. But he also knew that AJ was um had a high possibility of losing this fight. I bet you Eddie Hearn is crying in the corner right now because he is precious baby Anthony Joshua has lost. Like he was almost doing in the, in the first fight with Alexander Uzi. That being said, though, Alexander Uzi showed his boxing abilities. The fact that he can time and predict AJ. And AJ is so predictable. Um, you know, he used his sweeping left hand, right hook. Um, using so much lateral movement and not making his head in a, in a set, in a um, center line. And just being very, very unpredictable and very adaptable. He adapted to everything Anthony Joshua was really doing. When Anthony Joshua was getting aggressive, he would come back from more combinations. You know, Anthony Joshua... If he did just went to the body more and threw more combinations, he possibly could have got Austin Uzi out of there because he really had him badly hurt, not only to the body, but to the head with a right hand and left foot. But, you know, it's hope. It's AJ. I don't know. I, I hope AJ can, fight, can come back against some domestic UK level guys, but I just think this dude's career is over when it comes to fighting the best and fighting the best. Wilder knocks him out. Tyson Fury stops him or knocks him, knocks him out. And Uzi beats him. You know, that being said, though, this might be the end of AJ. He's done lost the plot, like UK like to say it. But this is not seeing the dream. Rocking Tears and they say to sleep. I'll show another one. Peace.